Lincoln, you cute little nugget. Are you ready to watch Rachel on the news? Hey, your friend Rachel's going to be on the news. How amazing is that? Hey? So Piggy's little best friend, Rachel, I always say she's little, but she's like a larger than life human being, has been um, nominated for an award called the Pride of Britain. And um, anyway, I'll let you watch the news pro uh, broadcast and we'll see Rachel in action. Yay, Piggy Pig! I hope she wins! <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. This is Rachel! I'm right! All gone above and beyond for charity, all worthy of the Pride of Britain Regional Fundraiser of the Year Award. Gloucester's Claire Young brought people together to Nita Garden. Her woolly creations have generated £25,000 for the Sioux Rider Hospice near Cheltenham. Ned Pratt from Curry Rival unicycled around the world. He's collected more than £300,000 to provide children with a school in a bag. He's terminally ill, but Ian Brown refuses to be beaten. The dad from Gloucester regularly runs for charity. Cancer Research has received more than £50,000 from his fundraising. And this evening we're going to show you the work of Fruit, Rachel Clark. Ellie Pitt has her story. She's pulled and she's rowed. Rachel Clark has raised tens of thousands of pounds for charity by taking on increasingly difficult challenges. This is where my fundraising was born, really. I did my first sort of independent fundraising event, which was called the Froom Cobble Wobble. And it was a hill spin on, on a bike. Um, and I managed to raise £100. And I thought, well, I've just been on a bike for two minutes and I've raised mm -hmm. £100. And I, it kind of sowed a seed. Since then, Rachel's pulled a fire engine through Froome, then she tried to break a world record for a ladder climb. It would be her toughest challenge yet. I don't like heights, which is why I chose that one, because again, it's that personal challenge, a personal goal, something, something that I want to face head on. Because at the back of my mind in these challenges, I think if my mum, if she can be told that she's got six weeks to live, and if she can deal with that as she dealt with, I can climb a ladder. Rachel's mum passed away from leukemia in 2011. Rachel says she was broken. So she looked for help and found it at Y, a counselling service in Froome for those affected by cancer. I had some sessions and it brought me back to life again. With a new outlook, Rachel wanted to give back to the charity that helped her. She's totally an amazing fundraiser. She's got such charisma and energy and she's brilliant at talking people into doing things and she comes up with crazy ideas. After not quite breaking the world record with the ladder climb, Rachel set her sights on a rowathon. I wanted to do something to fully embrace the community and I wanted them to join us on a challenge themselves. And this year they did. Are you so proud of Rachel? 678 people took part. Breaking the world record. Mm -hmm. The row marked a change in Rachel's fundraising. Personal goals became team efforts. Just seeing her, how she managed to get that swell of support and, and everything's been great. And she replicates that in work as well. Her team are really supportive of her because she's a real, um, I describe her as a real glue um, amongst the team and in the community. A feeling that's echoed by those whose lives have been touched by Rachel. Rachel brings the community together. Everybody wanted to do a row. Everybody wanted to be there two or three minutes. Never in a million years would she think that she'd be up for an award like this. I mean, I was just trying to get her to turn the Froome Christmas lights on. And now she's been nominated for a Pride of Britain award. She's just a fantastic person. She brings everyone together. But the police sergeant remains humble about her achievements. How did it feel when you got a phone call? saying that you'd been nominated overwhelmed really and i've had time to reflect and i am i am deeply honored i am deeply honored i don't do it for this i i kind of like it's kind of even in me now to keep going you know and i've now got an army of rowers that are willing to do something else i would be stupid to say no well just stop there because they're willing and they're able and while we can do that and while i can live the life that i know that my mum and mum would want me to do then i will i'll keep going and with her army behind her, Rachel is already looking for the next battle to take on. And maybe another record to break.
our final list have been amazing, haven't they? Here's what our head judge, Bristol actor Joseph. Isn't she Bristol amazing? Judge, She's amazing. That strength for adversity I find humbling because if I was met with that kind of personal tragedy, you know, tragedy, I'd probably sort of retreat within myself. And she's used it to kind of like you know power ahead um, and just commit just uh, you know to, to to just fantastic deeds and actions, raising lots and lots of money in, in Froome and, and and wider. Incredible. The first thing that struck me was seeing her in a police uniform, and to think that like you know, that is a person of an altruistic bent straight off the bat. I mean, the work that those people do in just incredibly trying circumstances already um, makes her a very special person in my book. Um, and then, yeah, to to, to see her uh, using her own personal loss uh, for wow. to, to to shine a light on a charity that again is doing fantastic work. I mean, it's amazing, and it and just makes you want to be a better human. Yeah, and just a reminder that we are going to be revealing the West Country's Pride of Britain fundraiser of the year on tomorrow's programme, so do make sure you watch. P, is Rach going to win? She must win! She's amazing! Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below. If you're new around here, please hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.